Whoa, hey guys, this is Goop. If you're new here, we review gym equipment and we don't just buy a couple of them, we get all of them. So if you'd like to see more of that, make sure you subscribe. Today, we are going to review the best weight benches, including flat benches and adjustable benches and some that are just kind of unique. Now we've included 20 plus weight benches. As you can see behind me, we built the bench pyramid. In fact, Sam built it and then we had him run to get us some food. Hopefully he comes back soon. Also, if any of these benches you disagree with, let me know in the comments or there's ones that we don't include for some reason, let me know. However, I want to say, I think we've gotten this pretty comprehensive. I've used all of these from benching to rowing, you name it, we've used them in some capacity and compared them to others that are out there. This is a product category that we find in nearly every home gym, so we wanted to do it justice. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Now I have quite a few different categories for you today. Depending on your budget, the type of training you do, the space that you have, that will determine what type of bench you have. Now, I do feel like I have to give specific general recommendations at times, but there are people out there, depending on your price, I may give a recommendation as well. So keep watching in the video, we have chapter markers as well, so you can check out which part of the video works for you. The first one though, is the best overall. And this is what I define as the best overall, just in general, anytime we do a review. It's the piece of equipment that has the best value for the most amount of people, because it strikes a great price with great features. Those are the things we're looking for in this particular category. That doesn't mean it's my personal favorite. That doesn't mean it's the one I use the most. And this is the best overall for both the flat bench and the adjustable bench category. Okay, let's show first the best flat bench. And this one is gonna surprise you. This is the True Grit flat bench. If you're not aware of this bench, I'm not surprised. It's not talked about a lot. Now, the reason I choose this one as the best overall is because it comes with a killer price at only $100 as of this video. Now, unfortunately, sometimes these companies will increase the price after we give a recommendation. So I hope that this company does not do that. It's way cheaper than any other bench out there combined with great features. Here are the features. Number one, a tripod design. The tripod design is nice because it gives you enough side to side stability, but also allows you to put your feet underneath if you're arching or doing any sort of powerlifting type movements. Number two, it has wheels and a handle. These benches can get heavy and annoying, and so it's nice to have a handle or something that you can use and wheels that you can move it. Third, it stows upright. This isn't necessarily a feature they talk about. It's not designed to do this, but I think it's stable enough to put it up in your garage gym without worrying about it falling over on kids. It's pretty darn strong. At a total weight capacity, they say of over 800 pounds, for most people, you're not benching a thousand pounds. You don't need a bench that can hold a thousand pounds. You need something that can work for a lot of situations and for a lot of weights. I think this works for that. Now, when they give a recommended weight capacity, because I know how this works, they're giving it based upon standards that are required by the government. In testing these, they can always hold a lot more weight than they say. So I wouldn't be that worried about this one. I do want to say something on this one because all these have things I don't like. This one, I hate the pad. The pad is not good. But this thing is so cheap that technically, you could buy this for 100 bucks, have the frame, and replace the pad with something from Rogue or a nicer company if you really wanted to. All that said, for 100 bucks, this is the best overall. Okay, this video is brought to you by Future. <laughs> I've been using Future for literally over a year, 300 plus workouts and lots of weight lifted. I like it so much, we did a review on it. People were like, ah, Coop, that seems like an ad. It wasn't, but because people accused me of making money off it, I might as well just make some money off it. So that's why we're doing a future ad. But I don't just like it, I've gotten other people on it as well. Nathan, the guy behind the camera, also uses it. I've got my wife using it. Future is awesome. It's a training platform that uses an app that allows you to have a personal coach that is texting me. My guy's name is Morton, and I really like him. Shout out, Morton. But if you'd like to start using Future for your training, they're offering a discount just for GGR followers at the link below the like button for $19 a month for your very first month. So if you'd like to join me on Future, then hit the link in the bio. 
Now, let me show you the best overall adjustable. Now the best overall adjustable bench will be no surprise to you that are fans of the channel because we did a full in-depth review on this and it was surprising how good it was for the price. That is the Rep AB4100. Overall, if I was to say there's one company right now that is the king of benches in the home gym space, it's Rep Fitness. They do not make, in my experience, a weight bench that I would not recommend. This one is not their top of the line though. This is a mid-level bench for them, but there are a few reasons I specifically like this one over their more expensive ones. Number one is the weight. This thing is 85 pounds. That may seem kind of heavy because it is for benches. That's about double what that true grit flat bench is, but it has a lot more componentry. I think a light bench is a big benefit that is not talked about enough in home gyms because when I'm using my bench, I'm using it for all sorts of things and I'm constantly moving around the gym. The other thing is just the overall fit and finish. This has a similar fit and finish as reps more expensive benches as of the recording of this video around 400 bucks, including shipping. The reason I think you should spend more than what I think some of our budget benches that I'm gonna recommend, and the reason I recommend this one is because this is a bench you can use for everything, forever. This bench is gonna last a very long time. The one thing that I think is a downgrade on this one, but the reason I still recommend it, is that it doesn't have a foothold for things like decline sit-ups as well as decline presses. Although I think those are great benefits and we have some recommendations that include those, for most people, I think it's fine to not include it for the price. This is a very good bench. The only other thing I'd say about it that I would like to see improved is an addition of another increment for the seat pad. I wish it went a little bit higher. It doesn't go all the way to, I believe, 30 degrees. It's a little bit less than that. I wish when I'm at a higher incline, I just want it to be a little bit higher. That's a nitpick. Other than that, this is a dang good value and definitely my best overall. This next category for adjustable benches is the most versatile. I do think adjustable benches can be a tool that can be used for a lot of different things. Now, most of our home gym community has squat racks, so they don't necessarily need pull-up bars and dip station. They use a squat rack for that. I do think there are people out there that don't have enough space that a very versatile bench can work. And even if you don't need the versatility, the ability to upgrade to it, or the ability to just use the bench as normal adjustable benches, but the additional versatility added in can be very nice. And that one is the Ironmaster Superbench Pro. This is a bench just like some of our other ones that we've done a full breakdown in-depth review and comparing it to other benches. This one again was a surprise. Ironmaster is not the company I think of when I think of just high versatility in every aspect. It can go from literally just a flat bench with a nice height of around 17 and a half inches to an adjustable bench by simply putting this piece in there. That has a low gap, it works very well, and the adjustment is very simple. It's actually a foot lever, which you can then adjust with a lot of different increments. But that's not the only thing you can do because this is designed to be very versatile, which means you can add some other things to it. For example, if you wanted a dip station, you could put this in the top, put it all the way to the top, the bench, and then suddenly you have a dip station. Zoom in on the tricep, please. Thank you, Nathan. Now, if you'd like to do pull-ups, you could take this out, insert a pull-up bar. If you'd like to do decline sit-ups, there's a decline sit-up attachment. There are various attachments that you can use, and they're actually pretty well done. And despite the amount of versatility, this isn't just an egregious price. In fact, it's very similar to our best overall bench in price, including free shipping. This is their pro version. I think the fit and finish could be better for an upgrade pro version. I hate when companies use pro, and it doesn't feel like a pro thing. This doesn't feel like a commercial level bench, although the versatility is incredible. Now, let's talk about my runner-up flat bench. Previous times, my favorite, my best overall, the one I recommended most was this bench. It is now the runner-up. This is the Rep FB5000. Honestly, this was the first bench for home gyms that was like universally loved. Everybody got it. Everybody loved the design. Many companies begin copying the design with the tripod. Now the tripod design is pretty much the standard. Now being able to stand up your bench is pretty much the standard. Now having a bench that can hold a thousand plus pounds is the standard as our colors. And I think a lot of that came from the Rep FB5000. This bench is really well done. The reason I don't like it as much as the True Crit is because it's over double the cost of it. And that one, despite probably taking a lot of inspiration from this one in its design, it's just hard to recommend something that's double the cost without 
a lot of extra features for most people. Now that's not to say this isn't better because this is a better bench than our best overall. That doesn't mean it's a better value, but just in general, better features. I love the look of it. I love the feel of it. It is very strong, very stable, and it's not super priced. This one is my runner up. Okay, let's get into the next category. Now, before I get into some budget benches, for those of you that are on a budget, I wanna go to the opposite end of the spectrum. The people that just want the best of the best, they don't care how much it costs, money is no object, these are those picks. For the flat bench, it's the Rogue Monster Utility Bench 2.0. This is the actual downgraded version. This is the first version we reviewed, and actually this one has a rep top, so <laughs> neither of these companies would be happy, but sometimes I like doing that. Now, the upgraded version has a knurled handle. It's a very strong, stable bench. It's very heavy, but it's a flat bench, so it's not like as heavy as the adjustable benches. A lot of the weight's on the back, so it's easy to tip up. It stands up, it's very solid. Now, for most people, do I recommend spending this much on a flat bench? No! There's so many other benches to go out there that can do just the same and you'll get just as strong with. And the adjustable bench that I think is the Money is no object picked, and the one that I use the most often is the Prime Fitness Adjustable Bench. It's so good. It's very expensive. It is very expensive. It's hard to order. Sometimes you have to call them. A lot of times it's out of stock. It takes a long time to come in. It does have a very soft pad. It is made for shorter people, but if you just fit into all those weird categories and your name is Coop and you have a mustache, it may be the bench for you. It's a very good bench. I love the adjustability of it. I love all the different versatility and weird accessories for it. I love that it has a wall mount for the accessories. It's just so freaking extra. And that's why it's my money no object pick. But for most people, would I re recommend it? <laughs> no, go with another option. Okay, now we've gotten the more, more expensive ones out of the way. Let's get to the ones that more people can afford and those are the budget option. And I have a few different budget categories. Let's do it. If you are like many people and you're building a home gym because you don't want to pay a gym membership, so you want something that's just going to be able to be useful and also is going to be dang cheap. If you're looking for a different option for a budget alternative, this is a flat bench that I would recommend if you're in that category. This is from Titan Fitness. I think the True Grit, honestly, is just as good, if not better, at a lower price. This one starts at $150, but it can go down from there depending on discounts. Titan is kind of one of the names in the game for budget equipment. Now, for adjustable benches, we're bringing out another rep bench. <laughs> and people are like, rep again. People like rep benches. They're just really good. They work really well and they're at a good price point. And this one is, I think, their best budget one. It's cheaper than the AB4100 if that's just too much money to swallow. This is a bench that I think you can use for the rest of your life, but I think a lot of people would upgrade from it, whereas I think the 4100, they probably wouldn't. This is the AB3100, and it has many similar features as the 4100. It's just not as stable. It's a little bit lighter weight. It doesn't have the weight capacity. It's just not the same fit and finish. It's not as stable in the back pad. It doesn't have as many adjustments. There's just a lot of things about it that this feels very budget where the AB4100, although I think it's somewhat of a budget price, it's not as much. It does have a grippy vinyl that they've added to all of their benches that it's somewhat thin as well and it's not as grippy as what we see from some of the more expensive bench, but for the price, I think this is a really good value. But if you're like, man, I can't spend that much. I just want the cheapest option you'd recommend well we went to amazon and we basically started scouring what are the cheapest benches that are out there with the highest ratings and we started bringing them in and i found one that has a ton of high ratings that a lot of people use that is very very cheap for both an adjustable and a flat bench sam bring them out sir these are the most beautiful cheap benches you've ever seen in your life with the most beautiful man absolute cheapest benches we'd recommend one you didn't even set it up, assembly. It's your job. I apologize. This is the Grind Bench, which is a tripod design and is basically my Amazon pick. This is a very cheap bench and doesn't have the highest weight rating, but it's taken a lot of things from more expensive benches and put it into a cheap platform. One piece in your gym equipment that I think is absolutely fine to buy cheap is a flat bench. Yeah, you use it a lot, 
And so if you want something nicer, feel free, but most people, you can get just as strong as any other with a bench like this. It takes a lot of things that we see that people like in more expensive benches and made it in a much cheaper platform. It's very lightweight, easy to move around. It does have a high enough weight capacity for most people, and I think it just works. Now, on an adjustable bench side, this is the Flybird adjustable bench. This is the highest rated adjustable bench on the market. I should probably do a full breakdown on this one because we have gotten requests. If you go to Amazon, just type adjustable bench, this is the one you're gonna see. It's not perfect, but as you see, it does have some things that are pretty cool. Number one, it's space saving. So if you're in just a home gym, you just put in your closet, it folds up into just like this square, almost like one of those old razor phones. Remember that, like clamshell phones? And it has many different functions from the ability to go to decline all the way down up to incline or shoulder press. Also, the ability to adjust the seat pad, lock in. It also has foot lockers if you'd like to use that. There's a reason I recommend other ones over this one as our overall, because I think more people will be happy with those. And this will be a bench that you'll use for a short time and then figure out if you like working at your home gym and then you upgrade from there. There's one other bench I gotta recommend. If you just want the cheapest flat bench that you can possibly buy, you don't want the grind one, then the Amazon pick would be the Amazon Basics Bench. This is actually the tonal version, which is kind of funny that tonal, like one of the most expensive pieces of equipment out there, sells an Amazon Basics Bench with their $500 pack. But this is basically a $50 bench on Amazon. We have torn the Amazon Bench apart. I dragged it behind my truck. I think we added like a thousand pound bar on top of it. It's just like ridiculous how strong these can be despite them saying they can only hold a little bit of weight. So if you just want the cheapest out there, this is the one. Wow, that's a lot of freaking, sorry Amazon Bench. That's a lot of freaking bench reviews. That's a lot of words, but I wanted to do this category justice. We get asked about it all the time. Now I want to remind you, if there's any bench out there that you love and you're like, Coop, you didn't add this one. What's wrong with you? Let me know in the comments. I will either tell you why I didn't pick it or we'll pick it up and we'll compare it next time. I'm gonna go take a nap. This is Coop from Grudge and Reviews. We'll see you next time. Peace.